Welcome back. We did open some power here on this vintage queue. We opened a Consecrated Sphinx, and that's about as powerful as you can get. And uh, I'm probably going to take that. I like Karn a lot, but, uh, you know, the old magic adage is six mana is better than seven. So I don't even know what what problem is. And uh, nothing else is super exciting. Rec Recurring Nightmare is exciting, but uh, Consecrated Sphinx is, is good. So I'm going to take the Consecrated Sphinx. Look at these, look at these fatties. Wow, that was rude. Karn only costs three. Not in the vintage cube, he doesn't, lady. Uh, I don't know if I like Blight for Tinker. I do, I mean, like, if we don't get Tinker, Blight so Colossus is basically unplayable. You can't reanimate him because he shuffles into the graveyard. You can through the breach him, I guess. So if we get through the breach, I I think the fact that you can get through the breach or tinker with this guy is probably enough reasons to actually take this guy. I could care less about Avenger of Zendikar. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would I would sooner take Ponder if it wasn't taking Blightsteel. But Blightsteel is the combo piece you want in a world of combo pieces. So hence hence we have put him into our pack arena. Ooh, I like a true name nemesis. I also like a Splinter Twin. If you put Splinter Twin on Blightsteel Colossus, it's actually probably unbeatable, right? I'm going to take True Name. I think it's just good enough on its own. Uh, it also doesn't commit us to red. Although, if we want through the breach, red is a good place to be. Maybe we just take the Splinter Twin. Over True Name Nemesis, though? If you can get a True Name Nemesis and a sword, like, that's just broken, right? That's just broken. I got turn two killed in cube. Channel plus lightning, or plus Blightsteel. That's pretty good. That's pretty gas. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I want to take true name. I'll. I'll leave the uh, the Splinter Twin shenanigans for everyone else to deal with. Okay, nothing really here. Preordain is great. It was good enough to be banned. It's not even legal in modern. So, blue Elspeth. Uh, four mana Elspeth is good. Lyra is pretty good. Yogmoss Bargain is interesting. Still no reason. I don't think Elspeth's good enough to go into white, though. I'm just going to take the Preordain. Preordain's even, um, it's even better in cube, in, in vintage cube specifically, or like the older cubes, because your power level of cards is so much higher. So, you just get to be like, hey, yeah, I'll take, uh, I'll take one of these three powerful cards and put it in my hand. This is a good start. I'm okay with this start. Oh, Elk Tears, that's like the fourth Lyra we've seen. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely, they're definitely trolling us here. Uh, Desperate Ordigil? Gideon's a thing. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's no blue cards in this pack. I don't know if you guys noticed that. There's no blue cards. Could take top, but I really don't like top. Easy land here? This, neither of these lands are our colors. I would rather just take Gideon or or Tassiger. Um, or Murderous Cut, even. And then a land we may never even play. Like, this could actually cement us into a second color. Where are these just, like, cementing us into three colors if we play them? Um, I'm going to take Tassiger. I think it's probably better than Murderous Cut here. Tropical Island I might play because that is in at least one of our colors. I want to be red, though, for the stupid... Um, for the stupid Through the Breach. So I'm going to take Solemn Simulacrum here. I like Chupacabra if we're blue-black, but we're not yet. And Solemn Simulacrum is also another Tinker target if we get the Tinker. Yeah, we're just taking Sword here. This is one of my favorite Swords in the cube, and we also have a True Name Nemesis already. And another Tinker target. Tinker target is a fun thing to say. Tinker target... Say with me, guys. Tinker target. We have no incentive to really be black here. Could take Mystic Snake. Could take Fumarole here. Fumarole actually keeps us open for the Through the Breach. I'm going to take Fumarole here. I mean, a braid is eh, noxious. Gearhook's actually 
Eh, I don't actually care about Noxious Gear Hulk. I'd rather just take the Abrade. Being able to destroy an artifact in Vintage Key was pretty useful. Yeah, but taking an off-color land that's two colors that you're not in doesn't make it easier to take cards you may want because you're just... Like, okay, so if I have a, if I take Plateau, right, and then I draft a Lightning Bolt that I want to play, if I'm not in white or red, I can easily just as easily splash a Mountain. Like, I, I, I think that philosophy only works when it's an on-color land because then you're not actually going outside of your range. I'm going to take... No, we're not taking Dark Confidant. We're just taking Incinerate right here. Resto is not bad. Scrubland, probably not Scrublanding. Here's Downfall. Bonfire as well. Um. If we're black, we're definitely playing Heroes Godless Shrine. All right, so we could add Godless Shrine and Scrubland if we wanted to. Shambling Vent. All right. Land Tax. All right. We might just be Esper at this point. I wish we took the Plateau over the... Not Plateau, the Scrubland over... No, then we would have taken over the Resto, right? So. Oh, another Mox opened. God, we're so good at this game. Oh, if we took Splinter Twin, we'd have the combo... Combones bones connected to the neck bone. Neck bones connected to the other neck bone. Those are your two neck bones. What's he saying right now? I don't know. Is Lily on it any good? I don't know. Unfortunately, you can't unbarrel rights Blightsteel Colossus. You also can't discard Blightsteel Colossus for any profitable way. I mean, we have three artifacts right now. I'm not sure we're a Metalworker deck. One of them is Blightsteel, which we actually don't want in our hand, unless we're going to Metalwork it into play. Uh, which requires us to have, like, three artifacts and six lands in hand, or six lands in play and three artifacts in hand. It still might be the pick. Um, it also could just be Deceiver Exarch in case we get Kiki Jiki. I'll take Metal Worker because you guys are ridiculous. I like Joy right here, especially with these artifacts we got going on. And I don't think there's many better picks in this pack. I'm going to Joyra. Fiery Confluence is super strong. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Library is strong, but I'm not going to take a green card. That is not where we... Boop! There was a bunch of cards in that pack I actually wanted as well, which is sad. Um, Electrolyze, that's pretty solid. I would like to prioritize um, artifacts at this point, especially because we have Metal Worker Tinker and Joyra. But, see, this is an artifact I will prioritize very highly. I'm just going to take Metamorph here. Oh, boy. Wow. Jace and a Cryptic Command in the same pack. That's pretty good. We've learned our lesson with Metal with Misha's Workshop, so. Pretty sure it's actually Cryptic Command here. We still only have three black cards in the deck, or three red cards in the deck, so we're not 1,000%. But we also don't have any other blue fixing lands, so it's easier to play red than other colors. Yeah, we're just going to go Crypto Command. We did 3-0 with the Workshop deck, but I don't think that was... That felt like a fluke more than anything. I'm not going to attribute that to... Tinker out Ugin. Yeah, that's the that's the world I want to live in. Unfortunately, that's not, that's not a thing that ever happens. I'm going to just take the Batter Skull here. 
One day we'll be in soul tie colors and completely old. Elk tears. What was your feels bad story? I didn't see it. Here's the ultimate feel bad. In the pool was it? Hold on. Let me take. Let me highlight something. I'll take Riftwing Cloud Skate. I don't think we want a Sphinx. I'd rather just have be able to cast the things we play. Um, in the pool was a full Karn and a Lyra winning team keeps all the opens. And here's the ultimate feel bad. The opposing team had a subpar player who was another draft boy. What is, why does that feel bad though? Doesn't doesn't the subpar player doesn't that help you win? I don't under, I don't understand. Where's the bad feels? I always want my opponents to be subpar. Oh, I'm only reading the second half. Okay, hold on. Oh boy, hold. On. Oh, Hangerback Walker is like the perfect tinker target ever. Last night was our last league, our last match in the team draft league, and we lost by one game against what was supposed to be an easy team to beat. One of the players had never even drafted the set before. In the pool. That is worse. Winter Snorb. Power Stone, I don't foresee wheeling. I'm going to take the Abbot of Carol Keep. This guy can hit lands, which is actually pretty useful. I thought we were done with the flies, but apparently we're not done yet. Coaster is really not proving its usefulness when you pull up the drink to drink some and then it drips water all over the area right in front of you. <laughs> hey, I'm bad! <laughs> what was that, Robin Hood Men in Tights? Oh my god. That's gas, dude. Flies are just flying raisins. I don't know if that's true. Flies are just little chickens buzzing around. I don't know if anyone knows what flies actually are in the chat right now. I think you guys are all woefully... Uh, unprepared for uh, or un, un, uneducated about what flies are. Our deck looks actually really sweet right now. I'm oh, it's, it's driving me crazy because it's like right here in this area, and I look crazy because I'm like, oh, Frank's stroking out again. Here we go. Well, Archangel of Thune, it is. Wow, Tezzeret came back. It will actually make the cut in our deck. So now we're going to try to open a Lotus Amox, a Time Walk, or an Ancestral Recall. Let's see if we can do it, ladies and gentlemen. Porcelain Legionnaire is actually pretty sweet because it's an artifact. We could take Flame Tongue Kavu, but this guy actually, we play this on turn two, we can tinker. Opposition seems better than Mishra's Workshop. Did we do it? We did it. Nailed it. <clears throat> First piece of power that we've opened. Actually, we opened Ancestral Recall. I lied. This Mox seems amazing with this deck, though. Mox is actually probably the... Mox Sapphire, no less, is probably the best open we could have had. I'm going to take the Mox. I wish I could take this Mystic Confluence, but it was not meant to be. White card, white card, white card, white card. I like a Sower of Temptation. I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you sow. That's a, that's a song by the Temptations, and I adjusted it to be for Sarah Tem Sower of Temptation. That's amazing. Little Baby Power Rock. <laughs> Oh man, I remember those albums, those uh, those kids those kids albums that they used to sell on TV commercials called Little Baby Power Rock. They would have the hits of your generation. It's either one of these two. 
Smell this copter's not terrible. We actually have a bunch of things to crew it. Sower of Temptation's also pretty good, though. I like Sower better, just because Sower is a card. Ooh, I like Force of Will a lot here. Sower is a card that, um, if they have, like, Show and Tell or Eureka, you can just play your Sower and steal whatever they have. Sword of Feast and Famine, also very good, especially with True Name Nemesis. But we already have a sword, and I think Force of Will is actually pretty epic for this deck. I don't think we're playing anything out of this pack. Like, we, we're, like, barely red. We have four red cards. They're not super good. But we do have a Wandering Fumeral. I'll take the Mind Slaver. I don't foresee us playing it in the main deck, but... I know you want to leave me, but I refuse. Hmm. Hmm. This is, might be worth going black for. You know what they say, once you go Ashiok, you never go back make any sense academy ruins could just be a thing here are any of these artifacts see the problem with the deck is the artifacts themselves are not things we care about in our deck actually we do have mind slaver so I'm going to take the ruins that is a good call oh, J oh spiral of canal and a jace boy Ain't that a thing. Demonic Tutor is actually not terrible either. We could just ditch the red, which I don't love. I think our red is fine. And our, one of our black cards is double black. And the other one has delve. Uh, and we don't actually have that many cards that are theoretically going to the graveyard. So I, I like the Spire Bluff Canal more than the Impulse. That is a late Demonic Tutor. Shackles actually seems really good in this deck for multiple reasons. Watery Grave is surprisingly good if we took the D Tutor. D mode. <laughs> we have no reason to take the Grave now. Why would we take the Grave? We're not playing either of these cards. I'd rather just take the Shackles, which is both an artifact and it goes well with our heavy blue cards. Actually, Welder could be very good in this deck. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Welder for lulls. Inferno Titan actually makes the cut, I think. That's pretty insane. Also, Welder Mind Slaver seems pretty good. Oh, if we took Tutor, I would 100% take the Water Grave, yeah. I think this is our deck, actually. Magma Jet's actually main deckable. I was actually surprised yesterday at how relevant this uh, this Magus of the Moon was. Yeah, I could see Cutting Habit. It seems fine. Shackles! Shackles! It's a Shackles! 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 That was good. That was a good. That's a good Family Guy meme. I'm a, man, your references are on point. This is why we're friends, Elk Tears. Young Pyromancer. One, two, three. I don't actually hate Charter Course. You're a two drop. You're a two drop.
but I refuse to let you go. So, I don't think we're welder, wel welder, slavering, ruinsing. It's cool, but it's real dirtily. I ain't about that dirt of life. Well, there's no real reason to pitch blade steel colossus, right? I mean, I guess you no, you want to pitch it because you can tinker it. That makes sense, actually. I like that. This is with a uh, young pyromancer. Pernicious dude, thank you for <laughs> this is for Sower of the Temptations. Fantastic. That's just fantastic. This deck seems very good. I don't know what I'd cut for. I might cut the Tezzeret actually for um for Mind Slaver. No, not Mind Slaver, for um Charter Course. Yeah, I don't really care about the desert, to be honest with you. Oh, did I already have to cut a card? Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. It's been rough watching Shelly melt into sadness from the Dominator drafts on YouTube. Big fan. Beef Supreme. It was it was rough slowly melting into the sadness from Dominaria drafts. I could literally feel it. It was overcoming me at a certain point. Wild Pyro, not great. Uh, wild Pyro? You mean Young Pyro? Let's see how good it is. And we have eight spells. It's not... It's not nothing. We could cut it. The only reason I cut it is because I just don't care about it. It's just not what I'm trying to be doing. Alright, let's do this. Ten. I like Charter Course a lot just because we can discard Blightsteel if we have Tinker in hand. And that digs us even closer to the Tinker. So this is eight, nine, ten. This is eleven blue sources and five, six, seven red sources. That seems really good. I'm down to clown. I mean, we have 12 creatures. I'm not too concerned with having extra creatures. Welder, I don't, no, we don't need Welder in this deck. This is likely not going to die. This I want to die. Um, this I don't care if it dies. Like, a lot of these are just kind of... Shinala, one, two and a half man bugs. Buck, buck, buck. <laughs> I'm not singing it. I'm not singing it. But thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Buck, 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 buck. Why is there a planes in the deck? I don't know. Is there a white anything in the deck? I don't know. This is what happens when you trust Magic Online. I have no idea why that plane's in there. It's going to be in our opening hand, though. Tinker. Ooh, got a mulligan. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Oh, it's for Legionnaire. Come on, Magic Online. Oh, lordy. Well, we'll fix that after this round and just hope we never draw it. Watch, we're going to draw Cryptic Command, and the only thing preventing us from playing it is that we drew a plane instead of an island. Hope you're ready for that. We're playing old rust buckle. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna keep your little hand, okay? Um, feels greedy to not keep this, so I'll keep it. <laughs> the funny thing I just need, I didn't even notice it because I didn't look over at the planes. I didn't look over at the the, the plane symbol to see if there was a a one underneath it. So because I'm, I'm like, why would that even be a thing? I don't know. I'm clearly playing blue red. Magic Online should know this. So what problem is? Well, you see, Frank, the problem is that uh, your Magic Magic Online the program is very sophisticated, and as such, it noticed that you had a porcelain legionnaire in your deck, which costs. As you may recall, a white mana. 
Is this where we just go to end step, they discard a guy, and then they go reanimate next turn? Okay. MTG is just a game. It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't really want to discard anything here, so I'm pretty sure I'm just going to actually hang her back walker. Are they going to daze this guy? That would be gas. No, they didn't daze it. No daze. You got it. Tinker off the top, ladies and gentlemen. That's not it. But I appreciate the... Actually, now we can just go chart a course and draw two. That's pretty cool. That's worth it. Pay my back right down. Pay my back right down. I'll pay my bag all right. Dear sir or madam, will you read my book? Welp. Charter course is our way to discard this guy. Watch, we're going to top. Now we're going to draw the tinker. Hope you guys are ready for it. I mean, I'd still probably tinker Hangerback Walker into... Uh, Grats on Vintage Cube Time. Tantrum, thanks so much, buddy. You know, see, you see the problem with having Blightsteel Colossus in your deck is that uh, you have the potential to draw that card. I don't think we can win now. <laughs> like, our hand is just not good. The only thing we can force a will with is Electrolyze, and I don't want to do that. I was really hoping to draw blue cards because we have a million blue cards in our deck. Or lands because we have a lot of lands as well. But one thing we do only have is one Blightsteel Colossus. So it actually makes sense that we drew that. And now our deck's going to be like, did you say Tinker? What does Metalworker even do here? Like, we play Metalworker, it adds three. or Yeah, it adds six. And then we just have nine? Like, this costs 12. I don't actually... I'd rather just have a land so I can play Solemn Simulacrum. I'd also rather my opponent just do some things. Come on, Rust Buckle. Oh, they disconnected. It's going to be one of those days. Well, can I draw it later in the game when it's more relevant? <laughs> or I could just draw mono spells here, I guess. Or I can just Consecrated Sphinx. We can just draw Consecrated Sphinx and play that. And uh, then I can just discard the blight steel. This might be the only one of the times I catch this show live. Where's my crickle sounds or raisin cans? <laughs> All right. I got you. Raisins. It's nature's candy. Mmm. If any of you guys came here expecting some Magic the Gathering matches to be played, I apologize in advance. It does not seem like that is going to be the case. Why is it so satisfying? I don't know, actually. 
It's nature's dead fruit. Oh, that's darker. Took me years to ride here to take a... Where's the... Well, there we go. They did it. They came back and they played a forest. We're good. Right? <laughs> it's nature's candy. I... Did I... Did I inadvertently quote Chris Traeger? Because that's pretty impressive if I did. If they make a... If they make a beast, I'm okay with this. So. Because then I'm just going to electrolyze it. All right, that's good. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It is still a quote, Frank said. I hate all fruit, but raisins... What's the first worst, Frogler? Land? Cryptic command. I see. A land here would be great because it lets us cast cryptic command or solemn some from next turn. It also lets us pump this guy if need be. Well, that was a great land. That was the most perfect land we could have asked for. First worst fruit is grapes. Second worst fruit is raisins. Do you guys... Would you guys think that... Uh, Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. <laughs> That's... Oh, God. Parks and Rec and The Office are both such gas, dude. They're just like the most feel-good shows ever. You just watch them and you're like, these are all my friends. Are raisins a fruit? This is a real question I'm asking here. Like, I know we've had the is mayonnaise a sandwich, is a hot dog a sandwich. I don't know what those mean, but I'm going to ask right now, is are raisins a fruit? YouTube as well. You guys feel free to comment on whether raisins are not a fruit. I also like to think that Parks and... Yeah, I don't care about that. I also like to think Parks and Rec and The Office take place in the same universe. Did they get in there with this guy? I'm tempted to just block and make two guys start attacking. I'll do it. Two is where I draw a line. I'm not sure if we're going to draw another land this turn was really why I did that. Because if we don't draw another land... Um, we don't actually have the luxury of playing something and keeping this up. So we're just going to be taking three and then three again. Like right now, we can we can actually play Solemn. We can also play Metalworker. <gasps> they, that's right. They can't because Karen and Anne. Oh my god, that's true. I like to pretend that's just a glitch in the Matrix. It's ramen and American cheese sliced between two Pringles and sand. <laughs> oh, dear God, no. The answer is no. God, the answer is so no. Oh, my opponent disconnected. Perfect timing. Because now it's on them. <laughs> if we do draw an artifact, actually, if we draw any artifact, it's actually 12. We actually have enough mana if we draw any artifact here to play Blightsteel. That's pretty insane. I wasn't eating these raisins until you guys were like, oh, I want to see some raisins. And I was like, all right, I got the raisins out.
Music Manly said Metal Worker, Metal Worker into Mox gets us to Robot, but Metal Worker into any artifact gets us into Robot, so. I lulled typing it, dude. I thought, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like envisioning like a Pringle, which is like curved in nature. They have like, they're like kind of like a, like a C shape. And then you have like a big block of like uncooked ramen because obviously it's going to, you can't like put cooked ramen on it. And then you got an American cheese slice and then you got another Pringle. And I'm just like, that's disgusting. It's just so gross, man. <laughs> oh. I love your stream, but I think I have to take my awesome noise canceling headphones off when you eat raisins. These sounds just a little too personal. Wow. How dare you, Chris? How dare you? I try to back up a little bit so it's not too abrasive, but they're just raisins. Like I feel like I feel like being upset when someone eats raisins on a stream is like I think it's the pinnacle of like um I don't want to say entitlement, but that's like the word I think of because it's like, um, if you're going to make content for me, buddy, and I'm going to, and I'm going to listen to it, how don't you dare eat a squishy fruit at that high of a decibel? Okay. You need to, you need to lower it because I don't want to deal with it. And it's just funny to me because it's just like in in real life like realistically speaking that's one of the like least abrasive things ever right like if you hear someone eating a raisin you're not going to be like oh god that guy's eating a raisin i'm in the middle of lunch and this guy is over here eating these raisins like no that's just a normal thing people do but when you're streaming it's like um can you not do that cuz I'm trying to watch this stream and you just ate a raisin and I don't understand why would you do that so it's just very weird it's funny to me and not like in a bad way it's just funny like not no no hard feelings at all that's just a funny thing it's just funny when you think about it right because it's like it's like if you think about the act itself of eating a raisin it's the least abrasive thing ever and then you have people in YouTube comments who are like can you please not eat and slurp I'm just like, okay. I apologize. Why are you like this, Robert? Eat stalks of salad. <laughs> yeah, that would be gas, dude. I am okay. Chugrin, thank you so much for the 29 months in a row, dude. Really appreciate it. Our opponent, uh, and we get to have these de these delicious raisin de raisin raisin discussions uh, because our opponent's connection is uh, not on point. As you, Eric the Face, thank you so much. Welcome back, buddy. Good seeing you again, sir. Eat bananas and make YouTube uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, I, th I think bananas are a much more uncomfortable fruit to eat. If you want my sweet, sweet sub bucks, you'll just stop eating. Big fan, though. I legally, I legally just got here, and the first thing... You, were you illegally here before that, Robert? Because that's weird. I don't know how you can do that, but... I'm a little, I have, I have started just because I don't, just because I make fun of you for them doesn't mean I don't understand them. So don't, don't get it twisted, bro. I know you were trying to say literally, but I'm still going to make fun of you for saying legally because there's a joke there to be made. So suck on them eggs. Boom, ba boom, boom. I hate you guys for even, why do you guys do it? You're like, this water bottle is just like dripping like crazy. I need an insulated water bottle that doesn't sweat. Can you guys recommend like the, send me your links for the best water bottles. Oh, a vacuum during stream. I actually ran the little, 
I actually ran my robot vacuum, which I have a sticker on it with her name. It's called Little Dumplin. I actually ran Little Dumplin before uh, before this chat before the stream. I was like, let me do this now, but make make sure I can get it over with before the stream starts. Drink warm water, touche. That is a solution. I think we're gonna win this round, guys. And then we can take out. Uh, and then we can take out this. I don't know. Music Manly, this has got three and a half stars. That's not five. What if I did get one of those hamster water containers and I'm just like... That would be... F <laughs> that would be hilarious. Yeah, that's just Frank's water bottle. He, uh, he That's just how he drinks. Alright, I'm clicking all these these water bottle links you guys are sending me and I'm hoping you guys are, are being serious about your... Ooh, when I see a water bottle for 30 bucks and it's got 4.8 out of 5 stars, I'm like, yes, that's what I need. Oh, this one's called, It's Only Weird If You Make It Weird, Water Bottle. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's also 4.8 and it's like 40 bucks and I'm just like, that's also good. Just 5,000 candles in. I just like pull out a water, like a hamster water bottle. That would be fantastic. <laughs> it's just hanging on the stream, and everyone's like, what's that thing in the foreground? And then I just go, I can't, I can't, I can't even. That's hilarious, dude. Maybe I'll start a P.O. box so you guys can send me these things. Oh my god, you guys are sending me candle, Camelback links? I'm probably not getting a Camelback for the stream. Oh, there's actually a water bottle, though. Nice. I was thinking it was going to be an actual one where you're just like, where I have like the, the straw. Oh, I think the steel bottles are generally better than the aluminum ones. Look, we're getting into, we're getting into metal preferences now. I have like seven. <laughs> okay. Okay. This has, this has six stars. Oh God. It's literally called... It's, that's a shaker. That's not even a water bottle, man. Eric the Face. Fantastic. What if I just showed up on Jim Davis's hamster cam one day? That'd be pretty funny. I, I, I do want to thank Russ Buckle. I think we're going to win in about one minute because it's been uh, 335 and it's 340. So apologize for you guys watching on YouTube. Hopefully you made it through this ridiculous transaction. Um, I think it was worth it, but, uh, you know, hopefully you guys will agree. Hopefully, hopefully you guys aren't in the comments being like, why don't you just edit this part out? It's not even magic. And I'm like, if you're really only here to play the, to watch the magic and you're not here for me or the chat, I feel like you're watching the wrong videos. I wish I could give him one. Tell you what, pernicious dude, you give me the rust buckle buck, I'll make sure to pass it on. I won't pass it on. I'll just keep it. Ridiculous transition? What did I say? What did I say? Robert, you want to come F&M? You should come F&M. Let's do it. Oh, I'm really reluctant to get to get water bottles on AliExpress. Okay, that that looks that thing looks ridiculous as well. Fifty for hamster bottles. All right, won the match. Now, no harm done. We can just take out this planes that shouldn't be here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, seven. Or do we want twelve, eight, or eleven, eight? 11 8 or 12 7. It's got to be 12 7, right? Just because we have the stupid Inferno Titan. We want all the blue for Cryptic Command and we want the blue for. Uh... Oh, we didn't actually include Mox. So this is actually what? 10. This is 12. Yeah, it's still 12. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's 12, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, 12, seven. 12, seven. Say it again. 12, seven. 12, seven. One suspicious Rust Buckle book. I'm gonna, I'll make sure to give that to Rust Buckle. I'm not going to give that to Rust Buckle. I will play first. Do I like this hand? I don't know. It's not exciting, but it's not bad enough to ship. We also have uh, all the components for a a tinker if we draw that. Oh, a few trooper bucks. Well, that seems doesn't that incentivize me to not to not donate? Mm -hmm. So funny story. I actually do a water bottle right here. You guys can't see it because it's green, but um, it's literally invisible. He's holding an invisible object. That's actually amazing. I still can't get over that. Hunter Raisin Bits. Look at that cute golf. Look at that cute. And I actually occasionally do spray myself in the face with it because um, it's just refreshing when you're sitting at a desk all day and, and working. So, oddly enough, I have a, that's a weird quirk where I just spray myself with a water bottle every so often because it just feels good. It's cool, and it feels like the beach. Okay, so we're playing another blue-green deck with a second turn Simic Signet. This is interesting. What's your top five favorite Marvel movies now? Oh, wow, that is a... Whew. That is a long... Uh, I don't know, I'd have to think about that. Right, and then... and, 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 and you, Yeah, I'm in Florida where it's hot and there's high humidity, so... You know, a little cold water in the face never hurt anybody. I need software that sprays my face when I browse Reddit at work. <laughs> I feel like we are playing against the uh, the spirit of Rust Bucket. Rust Bucket 2. The Bucket Strikes Back. Do I get hot ear? I don't know what that is, but I'm going to say no. Kyle, have a good afternoon, buddy. Do I like the Netflix Marvel shows? I really do. I think they're great. Very, very much so. I have not watched the latest season of Jessica Jones or The Defenders yet, so no spoilers. I'm actually tempted to copy that guy just because it gets us a bunch of things. Can I just steal that guy? Say what? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. That was fantastic. Just give this over. Oh, there's a hallway fight? Come on, T. Jesse. Unbelievable, man. That's rude. Don't you know I like to be surprised by my hallway fights? Maybe they just wanted us to steal this so that our our, yeah, our Veldak and Shackles would be untapped. That seems weird, though. That's a very strange thing to do. Have you seen the It crowd? Uh, no, I have not. It is something that's been recommended to me multiple times, but uh, I have not actually seen it. I will use your ability. I will get Island and Other Island. And I will lose my... Oh, that was a good draw. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, huh? Even when our deck is doing fair things, it's still doing unfair things. So two of your colors are blue and red, and we have pro blue, pro red. I'm down to clown. They're also at six right now? Oh, that was a good draw. Good lord. Personal engineer is a, is a real thing. It's the IT crowd. I know. Oh, my God. I hate you guys so much. 
it's about IT workers at a company, and this is a joke. Yeah, I get it. I don't care. <laughs> Did you guys see him call the IT crowd the it crowd? <laughs> what a dummy. Just kidding, you guys are great. I see as a Floridian, I've gone to Disney World probably a million times. And um wish I had more artifact removal, but uh they had a bunch of basics, so I don't think Mega Slim is really good here. Um and I used to have a girlfriend in uh god, probably like ten years ago. And oh, this is a keepable hand. And her aunt was a silver cast member, which means uh, all their employees, all Disney employees are called cast members. And if you work there long enough, you like you get different statuses. And she was a silver cast member, which meant she can get any of her relatives into the park for free at any time. And so we would literally just go up to Disney every like, cool, every other like weekend. It was pretty sweet. Well, this guy is tinkerable, not quickly, but you know. Well, we're definitely abrading that. Actually, I think we just let them sacrifice a thing. Oh, no, it doesn't work like that, right? They put a suit counter on it, and then they sack. Yeah, we're just going to abrade that. You have three cards. We're not dealing with that bull, bull honky. Yeah, because they go, they put the, they, they stack the triggers in such a way where they sacrifice first, and they put the counter on it, so. Signet. Wow. All right, so you have one card in hand and a signet on top. Seems good. Um, actually, your last card could be a counter spell, so I'm actually just going to magma jet this now. I don't care what you draw. You're just going to draw words off Signet. Um, Porcelain Legionnaire seems pretty good, but we're not going to need it is the problem. We kind of just want lands here, to be to be honest. Because we have, we have our four drops pretty much worked out, and we're going to tinker for Blightsteel. So, you got it. Oh, they're going to activate their Hissing. No, they're going to cast something. Sure. That's fine. So no cards in hand. I mean, that was a fine last last thing. So I'm pretty sure we're just solemn simulacrumming here. If they kill it, so be it. The alternative is they kill uh Joyra. I mean I'll trade a Garrick for uh well we're not trading, I guess, but I'll I'll still I'll deal with it. Yep. Draw a card. Be an artifact that costs two or less. Force of Will is actually great. Okay. I will 100% Force of Will whatever you play here. Especially if it's something good. Oh, you're just going to activate this idiot? Okay. Okay. So we can just play Trinium Nemesis here and keep up Force of Will. That seems good. Doesn't True Name Nemesis feel legendary? I almost kind of want Joy right here. Not for no real reason except that... It I'm going to chart a course here. This time, if we draw Blightsteel, we can just discard it. Oh, Porcelain Legionnaire. Okay. Okay. That's good. Get rid of Joyra. Play True Name. I will name you as the player, good sir. Now, we'll just chart this turn because we want to be able to uh, tinker next turn, which we get to do, which is pretty sweet, and we get to keep up Force Backup. So I'm pretty sure we just win this game.
Blightsteel is indestructible, right? Like, the only problem is if we draw a Blightsteel this one turn. God, in before it happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind if it happens. Are you ready? Whew. That's actually, I mean, like, our hand is very good. So... Soshin Ray, how 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 are you doing, buddy? Thank you so much for the support. Here's my friend. He's a colossus. He's the biggest colossus that you've ever seen. Force of Will is very, very good. We also have Cryptic Command, so unless they have two answers this turn, uh, which they're not going to because they have one card in hand, we're in pretty good shape here. Sacrifice creature, shush, library for a creature, put it under your hand. Sure. So that doesn't actually matter because... Attack your face. Blight steals a hell of a drug. I will kill both of these guys, and uh, next turn you're in. You're in for a rude awakening, my friend. We get to keep up cryptic command, force of will. That seems good. Do you think anyone watches your stream just in case they are playing you? Yeah, probably. I mean, you can't stop stuff like that. Cryptic tap all doesn't stop it because they can just activate Hissing Quagmire. That's that's why. Because we don't get to win there. They just go Orzhov Signet, Hissing Quagmire. And block. Uh, Electrolyze would also take care of the 1-1 one, one and the 2-2. Two, two, not the 2-1-1s. Not the, the two one ones. They had two wolves and this guy. Um, so that also would not do the thing you want it to do. Because they had a 2-2, two, two, a 1-1, one, one, and a 1-1. One, one. So... They block, we shoot that we electrolyze the two two twos, or the two one ones. They block with the two two and they take nine infect. So neither of the things. Oh, after they, after they block, sure. Like that's, what is, wait, what? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Was this what they found? Deal. Yeah, I can see this being upheaval. I mean, it's valuable to know. Yep, that'll do. Good game. My favorite magic card... Um, competitively cryptic command, uh, flavor fun fun wise uh, pet card. It's Mystic Snake. Uh, least favorite magic card. I know there is one. There's got to be one. Yeah, I can't imagine they want to up. They want to. They want to get more information while. Uh, before Scoop City. Uh, there's actually plenty of good ways to deal with it. You got Banishing Light, you have Oblivion Ring, you have Sower of Temptation, you have Opposition. There's like actually tons of ways in the cube to deal with the Blightsteel Colossus. Oh, this hand's actually good. We can go first turn Charter Course into Discard Blightsteel. It's actually very good. And then if we top, if we end up drawing Tinker. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, buddy boy. This is why we do it, ladies and gentlemen. That was actually a great draw as well because now we have all the things we want. They're going to have swords though. Oh! Wow! Got me! Slow clap for that, dude. 
That was fantastic. I can't even get mad at that. That is hard to be upset. That was great. I'm actually tempted to kill one of these just because I want to. I, I want to dig for things. I want neither of these. That's that is exactly what we wanted. Wow, I can't, I can't even handle that. Like, that's so funny, dude. We had the perfect draw, and they had the mana tithe for it. That is the most... That is the best Gotham ever. Never. Uh, never letting this resolve. Unless you have a counterspell for this as well. Do you have the force spike, or are you just running the double Gotham's? Let's find out. Wow. This doesn't even work because they just kill it, right? That seems sad. That seems like a pump moment. It seems like you wanted to pump there, but what do I know about Magic the Gathering? So any land is good, any creature is good. So that's pretty cool. What a what a game this has been, ladies and gentlemen. What? All right, four spike time. Ready? <laughs> oh, the problem with having four counters here is that they just attack, and if they connect, uh, they get to kill our guy. All right, well, I'll turn too late, but Infernal Titan's actually very, very good here, so. I wish we had this this Consecrated Sphinx before they had Painful Trees. If we block, so here's the problem. If we block, uh, they only have to exert three counters, plus two, plus two, plus two. Uh, if we don't block, they have to exert all six counters. No blocks. I wish they didn't get counters here, because then... Oh, they're just actually pumping. They're just dealing us nine? Are we dead? Okay. All right. Huh. I mean, I like Inferno Titan here, but... Yeah, I was thinking of Braid Sower. I think we have to deal with the Jitte. Like, mowing down three dudes doesn't actually... Like, that's going to be so much easier on the later turns, but I'd rather actually get rid of the Jitte at this point. At this point. Not the best Sower of Temptation usage, but uh, not the worst either.
Now we're at nine right now, and they have six cards in hand. I definitely want to uh, make sure we minimize the damage we take. This is actually problematic, but... Yep. I mean, we get to draw a million cards, which is super nice. That's actually very good. Um, put you on top, put you on the bottom. Still don't see a reason to attack here. They're at 21. We're at 9. How much money would it take to get you in a sleeveless Nickelback jean jacket? Well, it would it'd take at least the cost of the jacket at the very least. So. I'm pretty sure Consecrated Sphinx took over this game. And I'm pretty sure they should have just killed Consecrated Sphinx with the Jitte when they had the chance. I think despite the uh, Manatai of the Days, I think that was probably a misplay. Like they gained so they gained so much advantage off of the uh Seems good. I mean I assume you're in a damnation here or something, right? I have the jacket. Well then. Smokestack. Two smokestack decks in a row. Interesting. Um, three cards in hand, huh? We have eight mana, so we can actually go steal something. We can also hang her back for like a million and, uh, Steal something as well. Five, six, seven, eight. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put it on you. Okay, so they are tapping out here. Um, they can't target it with the opposite. Okay, they can. They can after we put it on. Sure. Yeah, this seems worth it. Yeah, I guess we're done here. Yeah, during upkeep, we'll probably shackles, uh, steal the spirit, and then tap it. Or sack it, rather. Sack them and tap them. I will draw two more cards, because... Well, we're playing a game of attrition here, my friend. Let me see that fumer roll. It's like it's like Tootsie Roll, but fumer roll. If you guys remember that old old nineties jam. That's pretty good, but I have this Vidakin Shackles, so I'm intrigued.
If we were all the cotton candy and sweet as gold. Oh boy, we're going deep into the old, uh. Going deep into the old Tootsie Roll wormhole. I feel, if they have Geddon, I feel like we're in much better shape than they are. We have a pro blue, pro red consecrated Sphinx, and they'd have no lands. Oh god, here we go. Are they gonna do it right now? Wow! Well, that is a thing, isn't it? Wow. That was amazing. You're going to tap Sower down? Should have stayed on the farm. I mean, they don't have that many permanents to sacrifice. They're going to have to sacrifice a permanent this turn. We're going to have to sacrifice two permanents? Oh, God. This is amazing. I always hope they stack them incorrectly. They never do. So what do you stack here? Opposition? Aggressive. We are at eight though, so like... I think we're gonna have to draw here. We're at 13 cards, we don't have that many turns left. Um, we actually have to draw in order to Something for two mana. We can play a Hangerback Walker, which is actually pretty good. It's not that good. The problem is, oh, they don't have, they don't have, they don't have, uh, Funny thing is we can keep Blightsteel on it. We can, we can make sure we have seven cards at all times and then just keep discarding Blightsteel. That's just kind of funny. Neil White, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Kai Gain, thank you so much for the sub as well. Really appreciate that. You guys have been awesome. Uh, what do we do here? Do we have an attack? Yeah, like we attack, they just gain four back. Uh, let's discard Blightsteel. Uh, it doesn't leave us dead to Path or Swords because we have Force of Will right here. <laughs> it's literally in our hand. Still going to sack two permanents. So you either sacrifice Land, Smokestack, or Germ, Batter Skull, and you have no creatures in play. So Either one of those is pretty okay. Germ. Oh, and Germ and Batter Skull is actually pretty good. But this means that we get to untap, sack three permanents, keep Consecrated Sphinx around, and um, start to rebuild. And they have no permanents. That's pretty good. How many lands do we have in our deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. There are five lands left in our deck. It's reasonable. Sergeant Ray, thank you so much for the sub. Blah, really appreciate it. 
Thank you. No, I'm going to keep the clock on board. The two clocks on board, that is. And we have Force of Will back up, so they have to sacrifice everything in their deck. Or in their on the on the board rather. Thank you. Knight of Sticks, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Magic is a fun game. I'd be I'd be surprised if we won this game. So they have no permanence. We have a consecrated sphinx, a land, and a thopter. Seems good. Seems pretty good. All right, so basically, Consecrated Sphinx should have been killed ages ago, and it is the cause of all your misfortune in this game. Not the bad. Now, who has the true smokestack? G-Jesus. Oh, boy, that'll do. All right, sweet. Whew. That was a heck of a game, man. Oh, we could have added a counter response. That's a good point. That was smart. See, like, miss game magic is hard, man. I wonder if Magus of the Moon is good against them. How many non-basics did they have? Only a few, right? Still could be better. Alright, so we have to literally play around Days and the other idiot. The other idiot. <laughs> the, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. Mana, mana Tide. Let's take out the Joyra. Joyra seems a little slow here. Um, the problem with Mind Slaver is that it costs six mana, right? So if they get Smokestack out in any reasonable amount of time, um, you're usually sacrificing way too many permanents before it's relevant. Like if you sacrifice two, they're only going to sacrifice three, and you still have to have Mind Slaver and four mana in addition to the two you, you know, you know what I'm saying. I hope you know what I'm saying. It's just, it's, it's not as easy. Like in theory, it's great because you can just choose to make them sacrifice all their things, but... In practice, I'll preordain here. I'm going to keep this tinker because I think it's good enough to. Uh... Also, someone was asking, are there any answers to Blightsteel in the cube and opposition? There you go. There you go. Oh, so unless they have days, which they always do, we get to resolve this metal worker, or we get them to draw mocks. We didn't draw mocks. Should have listened to my old man. No, you can't hold me forever. Is he singing Elton John? That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Our video is demonetized. Sure. If they deck in stone, I'm actually fine with it because, like, we still get a token. So, I get a clue. I get to draw a card. So, <laughs> so I just get to bounce that. Eh, okay.
I'm just gonna bounce this because I want them to replay it again, so. And next turn we do get to go Inferno Titan, which is kinda cool. Duress, that's basically a blank, buddy. Well, Saturday night's all right. Wish I could see what how much damage I'm dealing. I hope it's two. Okay, we did it. Seems good. It's a lot of lands. Ten lands, five spells. Seems good. That's definitely how you win games of magic. I like that he still has haste. I still have haste. Angel of Sanctions is problematic because they just get it back. Yep. Let's go to one. Shackles. <laughs> wow. Universe is a simulation. That's unbelievable. So we can shoot, 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 steal here, and then we can block. That seems good. Wow, that was a hell of a draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Saturday night's all right. I will block. No attack. No protect. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we got to draw something now. Yep. Not dead yet. Electrolyze. Now we're dead. Okay. This will be sick. We can go block, block, electrolyze. Yep. Uh, most of his 1-1s one are Flyers, though, from Lingering Souls. I mean, they have Brimaz, but... Unfortunately, I don't know if that's great. 
We'll just submit like this. I think our deck is fine. I think we just drew 12 lands that game. Uh, this hand is keepable. I almost want both of these. Um, I think we definitely want Metamorph. We can put you on the bottom and draw you. Especially with Metalworker, because that's like a turn four Inferno Titan. Or not. Pretty sure Inferno Titan's the strongest card in our hand. Interesting. I'm tempted to copy this, but that seems bad. Like they have Brimaz. They have lots of things. Even copying around Inferno Titan seems better than that. I really just want an island here. Well, this should help us find one. I'm sorry, Mom. Oh, that, that is an island. That is the best island of them all. They didn't have anything last turn for four mana. So they, I wonder if they have anything for this turn for four mana. It doesn't seem like it. Well, we're definitely bouncing the Signet now, for sure. And by Mox Jet, I assume you mean Mox Sapphire, which is the significantly better Mox. Saturday night's all right for fighting. Get a little action in. Got that Mana Tithe? Sure. I'm not going to counter that. Especially because they could have Mana Tithe here. Well, now they can't have mana tide. They could. They can't have days either. So, and island is what we wanted. And island is what we got. Hands looking okay now. Actually. I think we're going to bounce the Rakdos Signet again just so we can play a Consecrated Sphinx next turn and not really have to... I think having two 2-2 two, two Flyers on board while keeping them behind on mana is more important. They can't opposition yet. Uh, they don't have a, a blue mana for days, which means they have to actually pay for it yeah I'm not going to metamorph for Sigma just for Inferno Titan our odds of hitting a no it shouldn't have haste because it's it only gets haste because the haste is not a copyable ability it, only, it was only granted haste due to its triggered ability so
Uh, the problem with bouncing what they have on the the problem with just bouncing. This seems bad for them. The problem with bouncing their signet and drawing a card is that we could draw like a relevant card that they just discard. So they could still get the value of their duress. So, oh, all right, and 3-0 with another blue-red deck. This deck was sweet. I was a big fan, despite the fact that our Blacksteel Colossus didn't always get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. For the YouTube, for the to the Twitch viewers, I'm not leaving just yet. I'm just ending the YouTube video. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Both of those links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate it.